It's totally helpless, blind, naked, and undeniably ugly. But there's something magical about a baby bird. And from the moment you hold one, you can't help but fall in love with it. Your relationship with your baby bird is one that will grow with every passing day. And here's Dr. Blake Hawley, veterinarian at KT's Avian Research Center, to show you how the exact feeding program can mean a lifetime of complete nutrition for your pet bird. Feeding these beautiful baby birds is truly a wonderful and rewarding experience. Over the next few minutes, we'll help you gain a better understanding of how to care for and hand feed your baby birds and how to use the exact feeding program. The act of hand feeding is one that we have borrowed heavily from nature. In the wild, parent birds eat to fill their crops and regurgitate it for their babies in the nest. With the right tools, a few basic but critical principles, and a good hand feeding diet, we can duplicate and even improve upon nature's way of feeding baby birds. It is through the process of hand feeding that baby birds bond to humans. That doesn't mean that the bird thinks it's human, rather it treats humans as part of its flock. Unquestionably, the bonding or imprinting process helps develop the impressive pet qualities characteristic of hand-fed birds. It's a wonderful experience to have your bird bond with you. Plus, they become gentler as pets and are easier to wean when they are hand-fed. Exact hand-feeding formulas are the cornerstones of the exact feeding program. They're based upon KT's extensive field testing and in-house research that studied and continues to study thousands of baby birds, including over 100 species. Exact hand feeding formula is designed to nurture baby birds through the most critical stages of their lives. From hatch through pinning, feathering and weaning, when body weight doubles and triples in weeks. Exact's balanced, nutritionally complete and superior formula helps baby birds grow faster, wean earlier and develop better, brighter plumage than similar birds fed homemade formulas. Exact's high nutrient levels provide a number of important benefits. It will reduce the amount of feedings required reduce the necessity of overnight feedings, improve reproduction, and when used properly, will not cause crop slowdown. Exact is scientifically formulated to provide balanced nutrition for young birds and takes the guesswork out of meeting their nutritional needs. A diet of Exact supplies chicks with all the proper nutrients needed to promote superb conditioning and excellent health. While not necessary or encouraged, you may add fruits and vegetables, such as strained baby foods, but these additions should not exceed 20% of the total diet volume. As with any job, having the right tools is critical. At the minimum, you should have a gram scale, feeding syringes, an outside heat source such as a commercial brooder, or an aquarium with a heating pad, paper towels, a record keeping system, and proper disinfectant. Exact hand feeding formula is easy to prepare and use, but there are several important requirements to keep in mind when hand feeding with Exact. When mixed with hot water, Exact produces an instant formula. It's recommended that the first time the product is mixed, the formula and water should be weighed. For mixing information, always follow the age chart, which appears on every package of Exact hand feeding formula. Amounts will vary according to the chick's age. Combine Exact hand feeding formula only with pure, uncontaminated hot water. If you're unsure of the water's quality, always boil it first for at least 10 minutes. Use a clean, sanitized container and mix in the proper amount of exact according to the age chart. Mix the formula with hot water, stir, and let it sit for about one minute. Always cool the mixture from 105 to 108 degrees Fahrenheit before feeding. A thermometer should be used to test the temperature or test the formula on the back of your wrist for comfort. The formula should be the consistency of creamy pudding. Stir thoroughly before feeding to prevent food and water from separating. Exact has a certain water binding capacity. After stirring, additional water will tend to separate out when using the one to five day old feeding recommendations. This does not create problems for the chick since the food remains hydrated and will pass normally. For convenience, large batches of formula can be microwaved if necessary. Heat the formula slowly on a low setting. Cover formula while microwaving to avoid moisture loss. Always take extreme caution to stir completely and thoroughly to avoid hot spots. These have the potential to burn the chick's crop. As always, cool the mixture to 105 degrees Fahrenheit before feeding. 
Meals should be fed on a routine basis, which allows the chick's crop to empty or nearly empty between feedings. Remember that exact is a high nutrient formula. Always use a fresh mixture. Feed the mixture using a syringe, spoon, or tube. A separate syringe should be used for each chick to avoid the possible spread of disease. The best syringes are all plastic, which makes them both inexpensive and disposable. Syringes with rubber stoppers are not as good because the rubber breaks down after exposure to disinfectants and they become very difficult to use safely. It's critically important to always follow this next procedure when hand feeding. Always dispense food by placing the syringe on the left side of the chick's mouth and direct to the right side of the pharynx. That's where the chick's esophagus or feeding tube is located. If you place the formula on the right side of the pharynx, it is pointed toward the trachea or windpipe and aspiration of food could occur. It is best to dispense the food along with the chick's feeding response, which is a rhythmic bobbing motion. This decreases the likelihood of any formula being inhaled. Always be sure to disinfect feeding equipment before and after each use. Feed until the chick's crop is nicely rounded or on older chicks until it refuses more food. The crop serves as a storage area for the baby's gastrointestinal tract. As food is processed, it moves down into the proventriculus and ventriculus where true digestion begins. From there, it moves into the intestines where critical nutrients are absorbed. Waste passes into the cloaca. Generally, each meal should consist of a volume equivalent to 10 to 12 percent of the bird's body weight and up to 15 percent for small birds like cockatiels. For example, about 50 to 60 milliliters or cc's of mixed formula would be fed to a 500 gram baby. Overfeeding may result in regurgitation and possibly aspiration, which could cause death. Regular feedings prevent any food from staying in the crop too long and possibly spoiling. If the time between crop emptying suddenly increases and the crop appears to be slowing down, observe your chick carefully. If this does occur, feed your chick a more watery meal or mix with applesauce. If no improvement is noted, consult your avian veterinarian or call our toll-free helpline. To prevent bacterial contamination, it's important to always discard all unused mixed formula after every feeding. Always clean and sanitize all feeding equipment and clean any spilled food off the chick. Good hygiene is critical to good health. Baby birds need time to build a healthy immune system. They are especially susceptible to bacteria, yeast, and viruses, so proper disinfectant use is essential. At the KT Avian Research Center, we use two disinfectants alternately to prevent resistance. One is a synthetic phenolic derivative and the other a broad spectrum alkaline disinfectant. These are used on alternate months to disinfect contact surfaces and to clean, disinfect, and store feeding syringes. If these are not available, household bleach is an acceptable substitute. Chlorhexidine, however, is not an effective avian disinfectant. Measuring the chick's weight gain and loss is the best way to monitor a chick and to spot any potential problems before they become serious. Weigh and record the baby bird's weight every morning before the first feeding. A simple gram scale, such as those used for weighing fruits and vegetables, is sufficient. The critical point to remember is that the baby bird should gain weight every day until it begins the weaning process. If weight gain stops, but weight is maintained, watch your bird closely. Loss of weight indicates a problem, and a call to your avian veterinarian is in order. An otherwise healthy bird may not gain weight simply because it is not receiving enough nutrients. This could happen for the following reasons. The hand feeding formula is not thick enough, containing too much water. If the formula is diluted with other ingredients, if the chick is not fed often enough, or if the chick doesn't get enough food at each feeding. You should know that any abrupt change from another hand feeding formula may cause digestive upset and slowing of the crop. If switching a baby to exact from another formula, replace slowly over a 48 hour period by blending the two diets. With a faster conversion, monitor the crop function closely. And when switching to exact, always mix the formula fresh at each feeding. Always observe your baby bird closely for abnormal characteristics. A bird's natural instinct is to hide any signs of illness. For this reason, you must monitor your babies closely. The easiest way to do this is simply through observation. A healthy bird should be alert and have a smooth, sleek appearance. Eyes should be clear, and eyes and nostrils should be free of any discharge. The vent should be clear of any material or staining. Droppings are an important indicator of your bird's health, too. Droppings consist of three portions. 
Fecal material, which is normally green to brown in parrots and blackish green to brown in other birds, urates, which should be white to cream colored and more voluminous than the fecal portion, and urine, the liquid portion, is usually minimal in healthy birds. Again, learn what is normal in your bird. Birds fed with exact formulas produce firm brown and white droppings that are easy to clean. It's important to know that changes in dropping color or consistency can foreshadow the onset of disease. Watch for these danger signs. A change in color of the urates from white or cream to green or yellow. A change in the amount of fecal material or consistency, such as diarrhea, and an increase in the amount of urine. Consult your avian veterinarian if any of these symptoms appear. It is normal, however, for birds to have an increased urine output if they are fed fruits and vegetables occasionally. The ideal way to observe your bird's droppings is after a feeding, when you change the paper toweling under the baby. Paper towels are an excellent, inexpensive substrate for diapers. Use plain paper towels and avoid inks or designs that may stain the droppings or cause other problems. Do not use corn cob bedding or other material that the baby bird may eat and that could cause a gastrointestinal obstruction. Cloth towels aren't recommended either because frayed towels may wrap around a bird's limbs or neck and may cause injury or death. The final, most difficult stage for baby birds is the weaning process. During this time, a chick may lose up to 10% of its body weight as it begins to eat an adult diet and learns to become independent. In addition to hand feeding your chick, provide exact daily feeding formula in a clean cup. The chick will slowly begin to prefer the adult formula because it's comparable in taste and ingredients to exact hand feeding formula. Provide fresh water at this time. For optimum nutrition, exact adult diets should comprise at least 80% of your bird's weaning and adult diet. Fruits, vegetables, spray millet, and other seeds can be given for added variety, but these are not necessary. Levels of proteins, vitamins, minerals, and amino acids are measured to provide optimum nutrition to meet each bird's dietary requirements. The exact feeding program never leaves nutrition to chance. It has nutritionally balanced formulas specifically designed for each bird type. The exact feeding program begins with two exact hand feeding formulas, Original and McCall. Plus, there are five original daily diet formulas for parrots, minas and softbills, cockatiels, parakeets, and canaries and finches. Along with exact rainbow daily diet formulas, developed in appealing colors and shapes to add variety and excitement to feeding. There are breeder formulas for parrots, cockatiels, parakeets, and canaries and finches, as well as an adolescent parrot formula. KT also includes a valuable veterinary health record inside this video package. It's a useful guide for monitoring your bird's health. Be sure to take it with you every time you bring your bird to your avian veterinarian. Proper storage of exact products is critical. All formulas are specially packaged to protect the product from nutrient destruction, moisture, and contamination. Exact should be stored in a cool, dry place to minimize nutrient degradation and preserve freshness. If you have any questions about Exact products, call our toll-free technical services helpline at 1-800-KT-1. The number is listed on all KT product packaging. We'll be delighted to assist you in any way possible. The last decade has been a stressful one for both birds and bird enthusiasts. Habitats, particularly the rainforests, are threatened. The smuggling of exotic birds has contributed to the endangerment of many species. But there's good news and hope, too. At KT, we're expanding our commitment to caring for birds. A living symbol of this commitment is our new Avian Research Center. The center is the largest of its kind in the world housing over 4,000 birds and more than 100 different species. Here KT conducts extensive nutrition studies dedicated to improving the health and breeding of exotic birds and endangered species. Avian nutritionist Dr. Randall Brew is responsible for technical research new product development, and nutritional formulation of KT products. And Dr. Blake Hawley, KT's avian veterinarian, serves as an integral part of our expanded research program, 
and directs the Veterinary Extern Program. At the Avian Research Center, KT explores the propagation of endangered species and participates in a reintroduction program for their offspring. The company also provides care for exotic birds confiscated during attempts to smuggle them into the United States and is involved in cooperatives with the World Bird Sanctuary, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, as well as several universities, zoos, and other conservation organizations. Our concern has always been to do what's best for birds. The KT commitment to caring for birds today and tomorrow is probably best summed up by avian expert Roger Tory Peterson, who said, the truth of the matter is, the birds could very well live without us, but many, perhaps all of us, would find life incomplete, indeed, almost intolerable, without the birds.